And so our people had this network of communication probably all over the continent. It was not that something was unknown. They knew about uh, events and that that took place. <laughs> The Neh Bahane is what we share with people, which is the story of the uh, the Neh. It is that our people, the uh, the Neh, we have ways of uh, keeping track of time, uh, counting in the generations. That various events happened uh, uh, 19 generations ago or 20 generations ago, and. Uh, the stories are preserved in that way. And during the winter time, when stories are told, the uh, traditional way of telling the story, when I remember when I was growing up, the old people always used to get, put some kind of a, a date on it. Or 18 generations ago, or 19 generations ago. And they would say it in that way, and then they would tell the story. It's a story about the uh, encounter with the Spaniards. The oral history of our people is that uh, back in the days when messages were brought by uh, messengers, they would uh, they had people that would actually run from one place to another. And uh, the uh, these were the people that is what they would call them, which is the ones that trot carrying news or run carrying news. And those are the stories that are forgotten about these people that would run messages from different places on this whole continent. And so when the oral histories of our people, the Dene, they knew about the arrival of the Spaniards in sometime after 1492 to the south. And they knew that these people were not a good people because the messages that was uh, carried to these people by the, what those that brought messages are brought the message and information that there were new people and they were not a good people that all they wanted was uh, wealth, and they wanted to make slaves of people, and they were very cruel. And so it was that our people expected these uh, new people, who turned out to be the Spaniards, to come up into this part of the country, or the continent. And so the stories, the oral history, is that they encountered them, which is, uh, Probably around 1520, they, the oral history say that uh, Nakai, before they were even called Nakai, they encountered them what is now near present-day El Paso, Texas. And the Dene, they talk about the, uh, the place where the river flows through uh, the canyons, the deep canyons, which is... Uh, along the Rio Grande, and the only place that is is probably down in the, uh, the, that part of Tex Texas, present-day Texas. But it was that they encountered the Spaniards, and the oral history about our people is that they found some means to communicate with the Spaniards and then trying to tell them, go home, go back to where you came from, but leave. And uh, it was based on the uh, the messages that had already been uh, brought to the Dene. And, uh, but the Spaniards made their way up here and they disregarded what the Dene had asked. And the Dene were the most numerous uh, Native American people or uh, people up in this part of the continent. And so it was that uh, the Spaniards completely disregarded what the Dene had asked. And back in those days, information and stories and news and such could be carried from one place to another and so our people had this network of communication probably all over the continent it was not that something 
was unknown. They knew about uh, events and that that took place. And so it is that uh, there were stories about the people that were being subjected to war conditions in the East. That was information that was uh, known. And that would probably take place around the, uh, the time when uh, 1830, when the people were relocated from th their lands and coming west and crossing the, uh, the Mississippi River and be being resettled in uh, Oklahoma and some of these other places. And it is also that uh, our people, the Diné, knew about the, uh, the wars and that that uh, people were having with the, uh, the white people after they had opened up this part of the, the continent. And our communications uh, were very much uh, functioning with the uh, Apache people. And our people knew Geronimo. And uh, they had several names for him as well. And uh, those were with the, uh, the various uh, bands of uh, Apache people to the south. And our communication extended to all the way out to the coast to the Native American people that were out in that area. And so it was that our people knew of all of the different events that were taking place. And because of the uh, various means of communication that our people had, and that was very much a part of the way that our native people lived together. The many people cooperated. And so those are the things that we are told about the, way, the ways of native people and the ways of our people as far as communication and knowing what was happening all around the continent. Those are the things that we are told. Yeah, that's how